Hello, this is a pathology specimen showing a bisected uterus and this uterus has been bisected longitudinally in the sagittal plane. So what we're looking at on this surface is the endometrial cavity, the endometrium, the myometrium which is thickened and this is the uterine cervix. Here is the posterior surface and this is the posterior uterine serosa. This is the left-sided adnexal structures. This is the anterior uterine serosal surface and the cervix. And coming back to the cut surface, the main pathology lies in the myometrium. And uh, we can see that it is expanded and thickened up to actually almost 5 centimeters thick in this region. When we take a closer look, we can see that the myometrium is rather trabeculated. It has all these branching pale lines running through, as opposed to the usual myometrium where the lines are a little bit more parallel. And in this region, we can see a darkish area. So this represents foci of hemorrhage. If we look carefully, we can actually see that some of the areas of hemorrhage are quite pinpoint and small. For example, here and just about here. And these are sometimes known as punctate hemorrhages. The diagnosis here is adenomyosis. Adenomyosis uh, usually gives rise to an enlarged, rather globular-shaped uterus with a trabeculated myometrium, and sometimes you can see punctate hemorrhages. Let's look at another example. Here is another uterus that is similarly globular in shape with a thickened and trabeculated myometrium. And if we look carefully, we can see in some of these areas, there is a little hint that there may be some uh, hemorrhage, perhaps below the plane of sectioning. And here again. So what actually is adenomyosis? Adenomyosis is defined as the presence of endometrial tissue, which can be in the form of endometrial stroma with or without endometrial glands within the uterine wall, and by this we mean the myometrium. Clinically, it may present with menometroragia, which means uh, irregular and heavy menses, dysmenorrhea, pelvic pain, and also infertility. Microscopically, we would of course look in the myometrium for abnormal areas, and what we are looking for is the presence of endometrial glands and stroma. So this whole area that I am outlining this whole area is an area of adenomyosis, and we can see the presence of endometrial glands, which are lined by a very bland benign columnar epithelium, and the surrounding stroma, which is bluish on low magnification, and it looks different from the surrounding myometrium. So this pink area, this is the myometrium, and there are fascicles of smooth muscle cells here. Usually the cells have quite abundant cytoplasm, which is why it looks quite pink. So this is a benign process and usually can be managed with medical treatment. Hence, in summary, this is a specimen of a longitudinally bisected uterus and we can see that the myometrium is thickened and trabeculated and there are areas of hemorrhage including small areas of punctate hemorrhage and focal larger areas here. Uh, as a, by the way, there are actually a few small little ovoid nodules that are very well circumscribed as well in the myometrium, and these represent small fibroids or leiomyomata. Thank you.